The two German guns at Vivers were probably used at the front line that passed through Mons, Hirson and Charlieville. After the armistice of 1918 the guns were abandoned at Bures, where the German army had abandoned the last quantity of war material. Today you can find the guns overlooking the village, after they were placed here as a memorial in 1920. The guns were spared by the German army in World War II, but after the war the mayor of Vivers had the wheels of the two guns dismantled to avoid any accidents with the children that would play with these guns. So, we are going to see an old German World War I artillery position in Virian Naval. There should be a monument here and two artillery pieces that still are standing till this day. So, let's go. And there's the first gun. <laughs> Damn, there is almost no shade here. They cut down all the trees. <laughs> it's really warm. Bonjour. It's really good news, uh, yeah coat of paint <laughs> this thing is really rusty <coughs> and I just swallow a fly Standing almost on the three years here. So, yeah, if they uh, painted it more, would it have been so rusty as this one?
There's a date here and it says 1912. markings on this one I hope you guys can see that got some shell damage as well really beautiful markings on this one This one has a stamp date of 18 of 1907. <coughs> it's another shell damage. Come on. Oh. Uh, Bade Ingle? No. Okay. <laughs> Land? Uh, yeah, yeah, Nederland. Ireland? Nederland, yeah. Nederland? Nederland, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the name of 14th century. Group, 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 group. Uh, okay, group has made these cannons. Allemagne, okay. Deutschland, group. Deutschland, group. Okay. So these guns were made at Group on Main in Deutschland. So you can really enjoy the view down here. and I will see you next time in the next video comment and press that like button if you like this video and comment if you have another question and subscribe of course if you want to see more of my videos so goodbye you guys see you next time Another thing I love about these guns is you can see that these guns were made between 1908 on a stem date, but the first gun has a stem date of 1908 and then a stem date of 1918 and this gun has a stem date of 1918.
and that gun has some nice toe hooks on it and this one is all just just neat because it has to fight and fire and work and there's the other gun has some nice flower rings on it and all sorts of nice decorations on it and this one is just all flat and dull so if we have a look at the other one that's all nice and nicely made and this is just made for manufacturing and then war so you can really see a difference in 10 years and what that has done to these guns in particular